I don't think people understand what it's like to be traumatized by somebody famous and rich because you can't get away from her back into the corner and he was like cussing her out with his hand in, his fit, in her face in the area and she's there and he was like emotional singing over the years rapper 50 cent has been hurling insults in every way possible at producer and rapper diddy a recent post from the Indie Club rapper shows a pic on Instagram of Tupac and Suge Knight the night of Tupac's murder, saying, Damn, so Pac got lined by brother love. LOL, time to lawyer up. Shit might get sticky. Any, uh, any beefs going on right now that we need to jump yeah, on? I'm not to? paying attention to none of them. Oh, no more okay. puppy juice. No more puppy juice. All right. Uh, um, there's different things that. That, that's not really beef, though. That's just competitive. Uh, competitiveness. All right, so you and you and yeah. Diddy, you and Puff cool? No, I don't, I don't really oh, rock with Okay, them. damn. All right, I didn't know what that okay. meant. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah. So okay, well, we'll come back to it. All right, vodka <laughs> beef. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer is who told Puff to work with me. Jennifer Lopez. Lopez. Okay. Christian, Jennifer was telling me, yo, he is dope. You work with him. Like, he's going to, it's going to, eventually it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, and then Puff, that's what Puff told me. Down the door, but Puff can't even hear a hit. See, I know he can't. He couldn't. Puff can't hear a hit. That's kind of crazy. He still hear things from back then. That time. Oh, you got now. you, got you now. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Got you. Saying. He can't buy the right. He can't. You play for him right now, and it's, it's hot. He can't buy it. This is why he fighting Drake. <laughs> and you hit Drake because he uh, used the beat that he didn't yeah, actually zero use. Zero to one hundred. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if he like he heard it. And then you hear Drake's music, but it wasn't a hit yet until Drake put the thing, the, the lines were He was upset about that because he can't hear it, but he felt like he took something. It was just days later when 50 trolled Diddy over his alleged connection to Dwayne Keith, Keith D. Davis. The man who was arrested for allegedly murdering Tupac. The candy shop rapper also took shots at Diddy over his sexual orientation during his concert. And hug you from the front and back at the same time? Look, if you into that, you into that. I'm fine with it. To each his own. I'm just saying, this isn't my kind of mother party. 50's onstage rant resulted in a mixed reaction from the crowd. All y'all was dead looking at this shit. That's why I don't be going to the puffy parties. Uh-uh. They can hug you from the front and the back at the same time. Come on. Uh, I mean, look, if you into that, you into that, I'm fine with it. To each his own. I'm just saying this shit, my mother down the party. I'm like, it's uncomfortable. I think I belong in the girls' bathroom. When shit like that is going on. Right. Supposed to be gay in Hollywood, you never fucking expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties, and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party, and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited in a motherfucker be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms, and you fuck around and look in the wrong room and shit. Nick, come here, come here. Is that two niggas kissing? Is one of them niggas Professor Obi? Man, it's been one of them motherfucking nights. Man, I should have took some pictures before. Nice to have us the end of the night and it was a motherfucker. So we, go, we coming to you live, um, Diddy Late Nights. Um, when anything can happen, I'm just vibing, so why? So why? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this here in Toronto in the room. When I get to in an interview on Drink Champs, 50 said Diddy asked him to go shopping with him, but he felt there were other intentions behind it. I said, let I me see. read it. Let me read okay, it, read. Fifth. Oh my God. Sorry I can no longer Shame help you me. guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow, Dinner Thieves. In Peter's January. Oh, that's what I did. I was like, what the thing is guitar? Yeah, that's <laughs> Yes, uh, he so said gay like, and happy. Yo, no, no. Yo, I'm just saying to you, look, look. Yo, no, Shay Jackson was like, that's why you get invited to Puff Party. That's the only reason. Listen, listen. I'm on saying that because of the, that, what's the name interview? Nord. The Drake Champs. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> what's, what's going that? on, my brother? How you doing? Oh, man. Oh, man. 
Yo, it's group here. Happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, yeah, birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. He says <laughs> things. He doesn't even know what he's saying. is like fruity. Hey yo, Rastafari, Rastafari. Hey yo, don't do that. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. No, I'm picking up. That's why I got to pick it up from right there. This is how I got to pick it up from right there. Look at it. This is a bad thing, bro. Go ahead. No, 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 bro. Take killing. No, no, no. Come tell the story, bro. Bro, we, bro, we intoxicated. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, oh, bro, oh, you, bro, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he said something fabulous, and he goes, "Yo, no, we, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party." No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? I <laughs> what is he talking about? Yo. What is he talking about? <laughs> no, 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 no. And when Ensign people say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time a long time ago a at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, "What the?" What the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let yeah. me move, man, before I do something. You gonna make me mess up the wedding. Oh, that's oh, a nice gesture. Let's Let me get out of, no, dude, take me to that, what the guy oh, says to a nice girl. <laughs> but you been getting out for over a decade. I remember when you said, the top feels so much I'm better than the bottom. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've been saying this, I've been saying this. You've been saying this. Can we all go? Can I go? When you see, when you see, you see Jay the kids put his head down like. <laughs> Why we we stuck here right now? <laughs> and the cameras just roll. Everybody see. Don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> Why you do some like a little fluffy stuff? Now going you guys. On? In 2006, the Get Rich or Die Trying rapper released a diss track aimed at Diddy called "The Bomb." Over the beat from Dead Presses. Hip hop, 50 delivered scathing bars directed towards Diddy, who shot Biggie Smalls. We don't get him, they gonna kill us all. Man, Buffy, know who hit that N. Man, that N soft. He scared them boys from the west side will break him off. Dumb on his A, so he run to Harlem, shake him off. Fitty would also say, I guess this means I won't be invited to the white parties in the Hamptons, before mentioning Maze. The compilation? Nah, I was. I was coming off of being in Miami a night of party, and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Play, play, hey, yo, play listen, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you my daddy, yeah, I like when you when oh, you're scrambling and scraping for no, no, no. shit. That was you scrambling. <laughs> you said, you said, what? You said I like when you do it like that, Daddy. <laughs> when you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was talking about. Hey. Nah, nah. I mean, I'm You don't called, go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh? I mean, it's, I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like. I'm sure know, we can put Charlemagne's compilation against Diddy's compilation. Oh, we have a bunch. We put Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I also, I also don't do it because I know I'm, I know I'm bad at the game. Right. <laughs> 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 I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth that's just not maybe, you know, adding up to with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic. But I'm not homophobic, and I really don't, you know, care. You know what I'm saying? I just. But um, I'm bad at the game, and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. I would love to see the video compilation. It's hilarious. 50, yeah. 50 came up here, and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab to party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it. Play it. Play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we, we partied for my birthday before. You came to my party. You know? No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? I asked 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. Yo, why, I mean, why are you with him? Hey, yo. Why y'all got... Hey, yo, I don't have no beat with, 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 with... I don't know why. With, with Fifth. He loves me. He loves me. Do y'all really can't have see a beef? I mean, y'all can't see it. No, we can't see it, Y'all can't see that he loves me? But see, you really... Hold on. You really think that's hate? You really... When you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. Okay. But why? In 2010, 50 Cent went to X, formerly Twitter, to create a petition called R.I.P. Big. The indie club rapper said he believes that Diddy is making money off Big's name. Enough is enough. 50 said in X, Biggie's name should never have become Diddy's black card. When was the last time Diddy really was bigging up his brother, not bigging up his bank? 
Now it was this documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we're not even gonna even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. <laughs> Thank you. Cause you listen, seven years ago I'd have been like, yo, did you hire somebody to kill Pac? But no, you do it like a journalist. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean we wouldn't even get into nonsense like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's not Which we never believed, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Who killed Tupac and Biggie? You know, I think both of these dudes were assassinated in some kind of way. More Biggie than Tupac. I think Tupac might have uh, got killed by a dude that they, that they, you know, had an incident with earlier that day. But Biggie's is, seems a little JFK. governmental to me. <laughs> like when we had got hit with hit him up mm -hmm. i had to make the call of biggie and i said i said we're not gonna respond somebody's somebody's gonna get hurt mm -hmm. if we respond you know and so uh, i you know i don't know what's gonna happen with it but you know i could understand that perspective because tupac hit us with hit him up mm -hmm. and that joint was cold you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying i was listening to that you know we we were actually like like um Throwing people's turntable, a DJ would play that. We would just end the party and just, just, I just take that off. No, we would take the turntable. <laughs> we would take your turntables. You played, hit them up. You know what I'm saying? That's how. That's how cold mm -hmm. that that thing hurt to this day. He's the only one that I gotta constantly hear his music on the radio. He's the only one that I can't get Miss Wallace out of my mind when she grabbed both of my hands and said, I don't want to hear no more, with tears in her eyes, man. To have an experience like that for probably and arguably the world's greatest rapper of all time, that's crazy, bro. He's responsible for not having enough security. He's responsible for having Big there. He's responsible for not listening to security by telling him, if we go to this party, one of us gonna die tonight. Somebody gonna get killed tonight. They coming to kill us, Pop. I want these kids to know, ain't no party that big. Ain't no party that good. Ain't no party you should go. 50 Cent has stepped up his trolling of Diddy with help from his old friend Eminem, sort of. Posting on Instagram on Tuesday, April the 30th, 50 uploaded a doctored scene from Rush Hour 2 that was captioned when Diddy tried to buy 50 Cent some clothes. Bell the ball. Thank you. Absolutely. Let's start with you, shall we? You got the mochaccino face, wonderful skin, and the big broad shoulders, okay? Let's put a dead animal on you. Croc skin, buttercream, buttercream, croc skin, buttercream. What size is the waist? Let's go in. I want to- Hey! Watch his sweetness. He's got some fire to him. Honey, cups. I like that. Go get the clothes. Okay, I'm gonna- Hurry pull, up. I'll pull some items. Ooh, Jesus. 50 has mentioned Jay-Z twice during his drawing campaign, most recently posting a deep fake clip from New Jack City that featured Diddy and Hov in the roles played by Wesley Snipes and Ice-C, respectively. The court is not pleased with this application. You do understand that by pleading guilty to a lesser charge, the court, under the law, can impose a sentence of three years to life with parole eligibility after 12 months. Do you understand? Is that clear? Absolutely. Joe Budden, who's a host on the Revolt TV network, tweeted saying, Joe loves everybody. I'm not introducing me, Marcus. So thank you all. God bless you all. Let's go. Let's go lick, lick the world. Let's get it done. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Okay, have a good time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service from the bottom of my heart. Really. Happy Thanksgiving. See you all. Oh, who am I giving this to? We are a community that relies on family, on Ohana. Middle class was built by the middle class, and the unions built the middle class. Two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America, LLJ Cool J. Uh, say, even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or, or, or Rip Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. And by the way, with other movies and movies, she's earned a Golden Globe and a Primetime Enemy. Enemy. <laughs> That's me. 
I look forward to building uh, even stronger progress than we've already made. And I want to thank the Prime Minister of Co for Colombia's leadership and the ASEAN as ASEAN chief. I hope Diddy has a bulletproof vest at home because shots are getting fired. And it doesn't seem that there's a ceasefire anytime soon.